play area for children and a beautiful temple of Sri Radha and Krishna and Jagannath, Baladev and Subhadra. The new facility is expected to be ready by 2023 and will serve a very important purpose in the holistic development of the people and especially the youth of South Bengaluru. We encourage you to visit us and become part of a wonderful journey of self-realization and happiness. Thank you and Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna to all. Hare Krishna Sahib. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. 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 So I'm happy to see all of you joined early. As Prabhuji mentioned, Akshay Prabhu. Yeah. Hare Krishna. So thank you so much for your participation yesterday's session. So, and also I would like to heartily welcome all of you for today's session on Bhagavad Gita session two. Bhagavad Gita simplified course session two. Let me share my screen. Prabhuji, what is today's topic? Yes, we'll discuss that now. So before entering to the topic, I would like to have an icebreaker. So what is icebreaker? I just want to ask a question to all of you. So the question is today, uh, I just want to know like how many of you read that verse or the second chapter 13th verse, which we discussed yesterday. Uh, if you read the verse, uh, if you read the verse, you can type in the chat window. Yes. If not, you can reply as no. Can we do that? Let me see the chat window. Yes. Prabhuji, even we can download Krishna app if we don't have any Bhagavad Gita book or PDF. There we'll get all. Yeah. So even you can read it online if you don't have. If you want a book, definitely we can Veda let us know. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we can courier to your house. Yeah, if you have Veda base also, you can go and read over there. No, Prabhuji, I have Bhagavad and matchless gift all. Yeah, very nice. I could see Smita, Madam, Bhavna, Vaibhav, yes, they read words. Very good. Thank you so much. If you have not read, uh, Sri sir, others, I will suggest them they can read it. So it is very nice, but please read. It's my humble request. It's very uh, interesting verse to understand our uh, last session about Jiva. Who are we exactly, the Jiva? It will help us understand who are we exactly. So thank you so much for answers. So I could see many answers. Uh, or no, but few are yes. Thank you so much. And I would request all of you can go ahead and read the words. So it's very interesting to know about uh, who are we and uh, how uh, in the same body, how we are going from boyhood to youth and then old age and then to death. Similarly, we will be going to the next body after the death. So Krishna so nicely explained the concept of soul, that we are the soul, not this body. We are transmigrating in this body and across the body also. So thank you so much for answers. So as we did yesterday, before starting the class, we'll invoke the prayers and uh, we'll invoke the auspices by praying. So I'll just pray. So if you know the prayers, you can recite. You can be on mute and recite. If not, you can listen to me. Om Agnana Timirandasya Gnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Mena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Namavom Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamini Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharini Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschata Deshatarini Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadada Shiva Sadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna. Is it my voice is clear? 
my video and my voice both are clear for everyone yes probably yes probably the full screen i'll make it full screen yeah sure thank you so much yeah yeah before before uh, uh, starting our today's session as mataji was asking what is our next topic so before entering to our next topic today we will discuss about what we have did it and we discussed in the last session we'll recap it and we'll understand what we discussed these are the four uh, primary points uh, we focused on yesterday's discussion so i'll give an understanding of what we discussed the first point we discussed about bhagavad gita teaches us spirituality so we understood that bhagavad gita is a uh, great document and uh, it's written by vyasadev so we understood that bhagavad gita explains our true identity who are we exactly and who is god what is the relationship with god so it tells it tells teach us about spirituality understanding our real identity we are spirit souls so in this context i'll just give a small example or analogy or story which you will understand that all bhagavad gita what it teaches exactly so a small boy a small boy small child wants to know who is his father what is the easiest way can go and ask his mother mother is the bona fide authority to say he is your father easily the child can understand right if the child wants to know through science so understand through science what they will do he has to go to take the dna of the boy and take the dna of the people consider in india take the dna you have to check the dna which matches exactly right after doing the research of for many many years they will get to know that there may be a person who is matching the dna of this boy out of 200 people or 300 people and that is also not sure who may be your father it's very difficult it's elaborate process and it's not sure also exactly similarly the boy how he is understanding that he is my father through the bona fide authority mother simple easy easy to understand right similarly bhagavad gita very in a simplified way we understood very easily that to understand who are we what is the relationship with the god bhagavad gita is teaching us so nicely and so easily we can easily understand that we are part and parcel of lord we are the soul and we are we we see every day as this body but exactly who we are we are the spiritual soul spirit soul that is the living force in the body that is the second point so we understood that we are the living force spirit soul in the body and through this because of the soul's presence the body is moving the senses are operating which we discussed in last class and the third point we discussing about material and spiritual understanding so what is matter matter is made up of five elements earth water fire air and ether bhumir apo nalo vayu kam so there are five elements so krishna explains that very nicely and that is a gross which we can see like our body we are able to see our body right we discuss that our eyes like camera and our uh, yeah, and we are spirit pure soul hari krishna we are pure soul prabhuji not a body yeah, yeah. yes so we are the soul so we are discussing about the matter like matter what is exactly matter so made up of this five elements earth water fire air and ether and uh, we that is gross which we can see but spirit soul we cannot see but we can experience it through consciousness so presence of spiritual soul spirit soul can experience through consciousness and we also discussed about it in depth how the consciousness presence so there is soul uh, occupies in different kinds of living entities so we see elephant we see man we see tree we see dog so we see so many other living entities we see right we understand that they are also soul which have taken different different bodies they are also spirit soul only they have taken different different bodies based on their desires so we talk we talked we talked an example about snake so snake is very envious right snake is very envious so that's why person who is very envious next time he will take birth as snake so we'll discuss the topic in elaborate uh, karma in, in coming sessions but we understand very easily that presence of soul that is the real consciousness and that's because of the consciousness of the soul presence we can see that six changes birth growth maintenance producing by products children dwindling and then death finally these are the things we understood and uh, we also understood about material subjects and spiritual subjects also like material subjects we understood that what is material subjects what they are doing in kind of research they are searching again as the truth again and again correct they are going to do what they are going to do there is something already available at this we already know it's round scriptures explain it what is the distance between earth and sun and uh, they keep on doing the research about how the creation happened and they do kind of so many other theories they have so 
uh, which they spent a lot of money for researching those aspects. But if you see Bhagavad Gita, Shrimad Bhagavatam kind of scriptures, where Lord very easily explained that how it has happened and in an operate way he explained about it. So material subjects are something which we keep on researching on existing truth and we sometimes wrong because of our defects and we keep on correcting it, right? But this is spiritual. Spiritual understanding, we got very nice understanding. What? Because Lord is free of all defects. Lord Krishna is not, is not, you know, many defects and his intentions are very pure. So he gave this spiritual understanding so easily in Bhagavad Gita. So very easy to understand and it is not changing as the time progressing. That whatever Krishna spoke 5,000 years ago or billions of years ago to sun God, it is same what is given to Arjuna, the same what we are going and reading now and understanding it. The timeless wisdom, it's relevant to our current life also. We can see it. That is about matter and spirit. Like we are seeing matter which we can pursue, but we can pursue the soul through consciousness, the six changes what we discussed. And also very important point we discussed yesterday to an extent. What we have discussed, we have discussed about that this is the time we understood that we are not the body and the soul. Just, just think yourself from the day you get up, from the time you get up till the time you not go to bed. What are all things we do? We take care of our body so nicely, right? We take, we brush our teeth, we take bath, we wear a nice dress, right? We always have nice foodstuffs to eat. We do exercise, we keep ourselves fit. So we do all these activities for what? For our body, right? We take care of body so nicely. And we take care so much of our body. And what the body happens at the time of death? The body goes to graveyard, correct? We, we, we pass away, body will be taken to graveyard. It will be burned into ashes at the end. What we're take, taking care of so nicely. So, but we all gone through the first session, right? Bhagavad Gita Simplified Course, Jiva. We understood that we are the soul which is inside the body through which these senses are acting, right? Now, by understanding that we are not at all taking care of soul. Who is soul? Like where has soul has come from? What is the soul's disease? What is what, are, what the soul want? What is the food for soul exactly? So that we are neglecting, right? So we have to give the importance of what is food for soul. Today's session, we'll understand that topic very nicely. So how to understand this topic of food for soul? I just added small picture for all of you to easily understand. That I explained this analogy yesterday. Same thing I'll explain now. You can see here, there is a cage, golden cage, so nice cage. And there is a bird inside it. So this person is the owner of the cage. What is doing every day? He comes, you see that there are a lot of paints, a lot of uh, brushes he has, different kinds of brushes. He'll come every day and he'll polish. So nicely he'll polish the cage and he'll go away. So every day he does the same activity. What will happen to the bird inside the cage? What will happen to the bird? It will die, right? It will die one day. If you don't care of the bird, you don't give food to the bird, it will die. Similarly, our soul also. We understood that we are the soul. We are part and parcel of the Lord. So we, if you don't take care of our soul and what are the soul's needs, we will be pampering our only the outer body. So it will be very difficult. So we, 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 we will feel a lot of misery, a lot of suffering because of not understanding exactly who we are and satisfying those needs of soul. That is the real, real understanding of this first session. So, and uh, as a part of the first session, there are few questions like which we have come up. I just want to answer it now. Like uh, one came up in the WhatsApp group and one came in the kind of question answer session. I'll just like to cover it now. And uh, I'll cover those two questions now. Furthermore, if you have more questions on the topic, you can please put in the chat window. Our dear Sankarshan Tai Prabhu is there. Uh, he will answer those questions so nicely how we did yesterday. So I'll answer those two questions. The first question is about uh, one devotee Vijay Chandran Prabhu is asking so nicely that I want to understand what is soul made up of. So we'll discuss more in detail. I'll give you a surface level of understanding the soul. As I explained that soul is part and parcel of Lord. I told many times about this. The soul is made up of Sat, Chit and Ananda. So I'll explain that in brief. So what is Sat? Sat means eternal. Eternal means ever living. If you observe all of us, we all want to live forever. Anyone wants to die? No, right? We don't want to die. That means a nature of the soul is eternal. We want to live forever. And Chit. Chit means knowledge. We want to acquire knowledge. We want to have knowledge more and more. We want to understand more and more. The nature of the soul to have knowledge, to have more knowledge. So the nature of soul is to have the knowledge. And then Sat, Chit and Ananda. Ananda means bliss. 
so we always we want to be happy we want to be we want to have the eternal joy which we all want right all of us we don't want to be misery we want to suffer right we all also want to be happy right that is about ananda the soul is made up of all these three things sat chit and ananda because it is part and parcel of the lord it acquires the same feature of the lord so this is what the soul is made up of and the other part of the question prabhu asked about the soul so there are total 84 lakh species the question is that the soul is uh, passing away from this body and taking another body then we see keep on the population is keep on increasing right so that we understanding that context i'll explain one easily understandable point now in further the sixth session there is explanation about deep about spiritual world and material world there you will get very nice answer for that so understanding that concept like there are total 84 lakh species are there if you see the scriptures total 84 lakh species are there so every soul based on the desire they'll occupy different different bodies so for example this life i said an example of envy if a person is very envious always causing disturbance to others that person will take his next body in next life so he'll go to another body so we can say that the whole population is keep on increasing that soul is the same soul coming and back how it is increasing so we are understanding that we are understanding the population about only earth planet we are where we are earth so we are in india there is earth planet so there are so many other planets there are total 14 planetary systems are there and there is one brahmanda so like that there are so many multi uh, kind of so many brahmandas are there which we'll explain in further sessions so this is all just material world only it is just like one one ball you can think of one one ball so one ball is one brahmanda which has 14 planets like that there are so many so many planets are so many are there so this is all just material world and there is spiritual world where we have come from that is where the spiritual place where we are exactly belong to as i said part and parcel of the lord understanding our relationship with the lord we are there and we have come to material world so i'll just give surface level we'll go in deeper in next sessions so spiritual world is 3/4 like if you say 100% in that 75% is there in spiritual world and 25% is there not even 25% less than that is there in material world so there are so many souls not one or two there are so many souls so based on our desires lord will give certain body to us so that's why we come to the material world and uh, we there are so many souls are there who are revolt, who are like kind of uh, revolting against or envious towards lord they come to material world so that's why there are so many souls coming up and they are occupying different different 84 lakh species there is snake there is cow there is horse there is monkey there is lizard there are so many other living species we are going to occupy those those bodies based on our our desires okay proji so that's we cover about that questions what proji asked you remember that there are total 84 lakh species which are fixed there is no change so those are like kind of places available and people occupy those kind of based on the desire they occupy those bodies so that is the understanding and second question one proji asked about uh, that mountains also have life not all the mountains have life but there are few which are exceptional like kind of i, I told about himalayas and also we, we know about giriraj govardhan we know about himalaya uh, our uh, tirupada tirupati temple we are our mountains are nothing but anantasesh so we worship and we also know the famous past time of uh, ahalya where uh, cursed by gautam rishi she became stone she was waiting for lord ram so like that many examples are there okay so i hope it cleared the questions what we have from previous session and we'll start the topic of for today let's go to the topic so today's topic as mata ji asked the interesting topic about ishvara so who is the ishvara means in sanskrit controller so who is the controller so that is the topic so what are going to learn today ishvara who is god and what is our relationship eternal relationship with him so and we'll see in scriptures like what explained about god like who is this god what is his features and uh, does he also have mother and father like us or how he is he is like we will we'll understand more in depth in this uh, in this session and uh, we will see like how different personalities quote about lord and lord how lord also comes to this place for material world so we will see uh, more in this session fine like that we will go to the next slide is this, my voice is clear to all of you are able to understand my pace are any issues no it's okay bro okay yeah thank you project so we will be understanding how like see uh, discover the ultimate genius who is mastermind behind the mysterious universe so why it is called mysterious universe there are so many things which are very very mystery if you see in this uh, material world right 
you see the diagram the micro level to macro level like small atom to the huge earth or huge sun it's so amazing right it's so mysterious it's so amazing creation we can see like the atoms and uh, you see the chemical molecular structures it's so perfect if there is a small change everything gets changed the taste the smell everything gets changed so it was so amazingly arranged and you see the example baby forming in the womb we are taking birth as a baby right we all take birth so how the baby forms in the months it was so amazing so and also human body itself we can see our home human body if you go and see like there are so many every every branch there is a study about eye ophthalmology about heart cardiology so they have to go what they are doing science they again they are discovering what is there and they are understanding and they are trying to learn what is there exactly but who has done all these things so nicely right it was so nicely arranged at atom level to at the big earth level or if you see sun planetary system so all these things so nicely arranged so it was so perfect that was there is no mistake like if you see example of we heard about the story of sir isaac newton scientist like how he so nicely explained in the last session that we we uh, just don't believe that uh, the small model what he made that rotating uh, planetary system like earth sun all the other planets so doesn't come up by chance just that chemicals mix and doesn't come up by chance similarly explained how can you just expect that a huge earth where we are currently we are rotating such a high speed not even going out of the orbit even once right so so that means there should be a person like we are not under, we, we are not at all uh, we 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 are not at all convincing that this just the model came up by chance how can we just think that the huge earth like huge earth huge huge sun so <laughs> we know the power of sun right just one portion like fragment of portion is enough for all the whole universe to i mean whole yet to sustain for many years so who who might have created it like without sun how can we expect our life on earth right who might have done all these things who did a such a, such a nice arrangement for all of us so there will be separate definitely there will be a master mind who just thought about it and gave for all of us right it's a good good point to understand about it and continuation we also see that if you see the whole nature what we are seeing so we can easily see like yeah as project mentioned we can also take this pole yeah my humble request yeah, all, all of you can take this pole if you are agreeing with my point that there will be a mastermind be in the mysterious universe yeah thank you so much may i have answered already 50 yeah thank you so much for your answers so i hope all of you are in agree agree agreement with me so thank you so much so we understand that there is a mastermind similarly there are some more examples we can see in our nature like you see there are seasons we have different seasons right we have summer season we have winter season right and we also have rainy season so there are different seasons arranged by us and the every season they have different kinds of uh, nice grains nice fruits arranged by lord for all of us which will help us to sustain and we see sunlight we see moonlight and uh, uh, we see nice vegetation happens nice serenic mountains we see nice uh, kind of rivers drinking water for us drinking water lord gives us drinking water so like that we see so much of variety which is there and it's very harmonious the amazing uh, structure done by the lord for all of us right so the evaporation what we are seeing so so we saw it was so beautiful it was so in harmonious the whole universe correct so who has done for all the all of these things so how how intelligent he might be right understanding the importance of what we all need and providing all those things so exactly so perfectly to all of us right who who will be that who is creating this and who is maintaining it right so we all uh, should think about it really you know nothing comes up by chance my table someone has to manufacture it my laptop someone has to manufacture it my watch someone has to do it similarly there will be earth there will be planet earth there will be sun there will be moon a nice arrangement for all of us this kind of different seasons you think there will be definitely a person who is behind all these things let's move ahead with that so now as i said that there is a, a person behind all these things so example consider one of the 
uh, artistry artist like example i'll tell you easily to understand this one more example so you might have many of you might have drawn some pictures like but we all not that good at drawing but some are very good at drawing if you call a great artist and tell him to draw a picture of flower very nice flower so what he did he took a paper he used all his intelligence he wrote he drawn so nicely the flower with all the colors he made and he so nicely drawn the flower so if you take the flower whatever he drawn many of us see and we'll agree it's so nice so nicely he has drawn it and uh, he put lot of his energy to give that look and feel like similar to the flower which is there in the nature so we all will definitely like it but even if it is drawn so elegantly so nicely we we'll appreciate the art we we'll appreciate the flower by seeing the artist who has done it correct it will not just come up by chance the painting we have to that it was the person who did that all those things and he made the flower so nicely right by seeing the picture only we can tell that it was so nice i want to know who who has done this art i want to know who who has done this correct we want to know it by seeing the picture like we see light of paintings we want to know who who does this so even that's our uh, our our natural behavior then then why not the same thing we see in the natural flower the flower is so nice even more than what the person has drawn we can understand the flower in the nature if you take the flower so soft so delicate it has some much more characteristics like you can feel the flowers we can smell it so nice fragrance and there are different kinds of flowers right and it by saying the seed pouring water we get so nice flower it's kind of uh very wonderful uh the flower when you see it then why not we ask that who is the artist of this natural flower right same question we should ask here as right then whenever you see any art in the nature you should definitely ask a question to all of us that who is the artist behind all right that's a very intelligent question we should ask and we will see now who is that person okay as proji already you all answered the poll that you agree with me that there is a mastermind then this all these things what we discussed till now so thank you so much for your answers and is it god who is behind all these things if it is god then who is that god i want to know right that is the session today ishwara okay so we will see who is god who has done this such a amazing creation for all of us and who is he exactly so just before entering to that so we want to know who is that god to understand that we want to understand first where we are currently and uh, what is this universal government what god has formed for all of us so if he is god like what is how how he is uh, organizing this universal government compare with the local government just understand this very easily we can easily understand i'll just give you the bullet points here so nice you can understand we we know that our india has so many states and all the states have been controlled by different different chief ministers but who is the head of all of them and who is guiding all of them he is prime minister is the one person who is example narendra modi he is the prime minister he is the person behind the government running the whole india government right similarly we understand that god is there so who is the god god is a person the mastermind behind all these things who is behind this universal government where we are i explained explained about the planet where we are um, whom we have to take birth so everything was organized by lord and uh, the sun and the moon everything was done by the lord for all of us so he 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 will maintain the whole citizens like what all we need understanding that even this policy what is required everything is provided by prime minister for all of us similarly god provides everything for all of us we want sunlight we want sun heat right we want rains we want drinking water god provides us so what all we need we need air oxygen is even provided by lord so everything for our maintenance who is taking care in the universal form universal government that is supreme personality of god lord lord takes care of us and also we see that government also not only it maintains and controls us what are we need it also it also punishes us correct similarly lord also punishes if you are not abiding the lord's law for example person committed kind of sins like kind of theft a kind of illicit sex so they will be having different kinds of diseases like aids they will suffer right like you know, different kinds of if they, because it's a sinful act and they are against the lord's law they will suffer so like how in government if you do any theft or if you do any crime they will be punished and they will put into the jail similarly if you do any sinful activity you will be punished by the lord's law and you will you will get the suffering accordingly so we can easily understand this right so it's so nice so how the prime minister does we can easily understand that how lord is also controlling whole the universe through different different 
like how state has chief ministers so lord has different different demigods who will take care of all these affairs like indra chandra varuna vayu we all know that right so they are all taking care of all of us so how the pm punishes similarly lord also punishes if you are not abiding the lord's law so so nice god right so nice arrangement so uh, i hope all of you understood with this example how the universal government is maintaining and controlled by the lord and that god who is that god that god is another than supreme personality of godhead sri krishna so he is the supreme personality of godhead i'll just move this so that you can see it very clearly so lord krishna is the cause of all causes the supreme personality of godhead so who is saying this it is saying from brahma samhita so brahma samhita means uh like brahma for when first time he has seen the lord he has spoken this verse so he has so nicely uh, spoken i'll read the verse slowly you can repeat after me so you can mute but you can repeat ishwaraha paramaha krishna satchit ananda vigraha anader adher govinda sarva karana karanam so the translation is less like this i'll read out krishna who is known as govinda the supreme godhead he has an eternal blissful spiritual body and he is the origin of all he has no other origin and is the prime cause of all causes so so nicely explained by brahma here right you can see that he is saying ishwara our topic is ishwara right who is that ishwara supreme controller he is saying krishna who is known as govinda is a supreme godhead so ishwara parama krishna the supreme parama ishwara controller is krishna he is krishna and how he is he is satchit ananda vigraha how he is made up of he is made up of eternal there is no death blissful always happy and a spiritual body so satchit ananda vigraha full of knowledge full eternal and always blissful right and he is the origin of all anadir adir govinda anadir anadir he is the like uh, he is the beginning he there is no father and mother as explaining we have our father and mother but krishna is the origin of all that was that was told to be not brahma he is he is the origin of all and he is who is he is govinda anadir adir he is origin of all and he is the cause of all causes now what are we discuss till now like how this all the universe and all the seasons everything is the cause of all causes so he so nicely explained in this verse you can understand this verse so uh, and also like i was saying brahma i quoted about this and also there is one more verse in shrimad bhagavatam which so nicely explains so how uh, the krishna is the supreme personality of godhead and uh, how he has how he has uh, come in different different incarnations it was explained in shrimad bhagavatam so this is shrimad bhagavatam uh, is another scripture another purana written by vedavyas so in this also it's the top most purana in this is so nicely explains about krishna like explains that ete chamsa kala pumsa krishnastu bhagavan swayam indriyari vyakulam lokam mrutayanti yuge yuge so it is explained here all of the above mentioned incarnations are either plenary portions or portions of the plenary portions of the lord but lord sri krishna is the original personality of godhead so he is saying here the krishna is supreme and also it is explaining here, here so nicely that all the other incarnations who has come like lord rama narsimha varaha matsya so all these incarnations incarnations who have come to this material world and does the past times so they are all nothing but air eta cha amsa amsa of the lord so but who is the swayam bhagavan is krishnas to bhagavan swayam krishna is the supreme personality of godhead and other incarnations are portions are plenary portions of the lord so so nicely it was explained so we understood that there is a mastermind that mastermind is is uh, maintaining a whole universe through through other agents like how prime minister is doing and that personality of godhead is krishna the supreme personality of godhead as explained by brahma and also in shrimad bhagavatam okay i hope all of you are able to understand if you are able to understand me can you please you are in agree with me can you please put yes in the chat because i'm going to we're going to enter into the next uh, topic i just want to know all of you like were able to understand the topic what we are discussing hare krishna let me open the chat
Yeah, can I please chat here? If you're able to understand what I'm discussing, can I put, please put yes, if you're able to understand. If not, you can put no. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Anusha Mathe, Savita Mathe, yes. Tanuja, Mataji, Savita Mathe, yes, yeah. Thank you so much. Vijay Chandra, yeah, thank you so much for your replies. Yeah, uh, one question was asked there. Maybe, uh, as I just, I get just told that we think that as we are, we have our parents, right? So our parents have their parents and their parents have their parents, right? Similarly, we can understand that for Lord, is explained by Brahma that there is no, is the beginning from whom everything has come up. So that is time immemorial. I think Sankarshan Taipu also answered already. So God is the origin of all. Anadir Adir Govinda. Like you can take example of one more example, like uh, how Lord Brahma born, right? Brahma is uh, taken birth from the navel of, lotus navel of, Gabbo Dakshay Vishnu, right? There is no uh, Mother Lakshmi involved there. So you can see that so nicely you can understand that similarly, Brahma has no, Brahma has father, but there is no mother. Similarly, for Lord, so Lord is the origin of all from whom everything has come up. So we are from the Lord, the part and parcel of the Lord, just to give the understanding of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Mother, I think you understood it. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, let's proceed. So I hope all of you are understand understand of this topic. So next, uh, very interesting topic, and uh, it's a bit uh, kind of we need a more focus of all of you to understand the next topic because now you understood that God is there behind everything. But how to understand that God, right? How to understand this God? Many people tell so many things. God is light. Uh, God can be everywhere, or uh, God has some form maybe because I am having two hands, I am having two legs. Maybe God also might be having those things. So there are so many people telling so many things. But as I already explained, how Srimad Bhavatam, the topmost Purana, like how Vedavya has written, it explains so nicely understanding of God in different levels. And which is the topmost understanding, it explains so nicely. So we will see in this. So I, I request all of you to pay more attention here to understand this topic. So it's a very important topic. Okay, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll start this, okay? It's, it's explained in Shrimad Bhagavatam. It is first canto, second chapter, 11th text. So there are different cantos are there. There are total 12 cantos are there. Like how Bhagavad Gita, we have chapter and then verses. Similarly, Shrimad Bhagavatam, they have 12 cantos and every canto has a chapter and chapter has the verse. So it is there in first canto, second chapter, 11th verse. Here, he explains so nicely, Vadanti tat, tatva vidas tatvam yajnanam advayam Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan, Iti Shabdhyate. So the translation is the learned transcendentalist who know the absolute truth call this non dual substance Brahman, Paramatma, or Bhagavan. So it is explained here in this verse so nicely Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan, Iti Shabdhyate. So to understand this, first thing is he is explaining that there are three levels of understanding of Lord. I'll give a nice example, very nice example, which will really stuck your and you can get the clear clarity of it. So first I'll tell what I explained in this verse translation, Brahman. So what is Brahman? So Lord as a Brahman is present everywhere, is all pervading, is there everywhere, is pervading, pervading everywhere. Understood, right? That is Brahman. Next, Paramat Methi is saying that Lord is a person who is residing in every one of us. Lord is there, is residing in the region of heart. So he's a Paramatma residing in the heart of all the living entities. If you can see in the picture here, you can see here in the picture here, I'm showing here. You can see Paramatma is standing in 400 form, having Shankar, Chakra, Gada and Padma and so nicely standing. And you can see in the down picture, there is Brahma, there is a Brahman sitting over here and there is a lion and there is a dog and there are children playing. So all of them, you can see there is a spark inside that, right? That is. Paramatma sitting in the heart of and also there was a question asked yesterday about where is the soul residing so I would like to answer that also here along with the soul there is super soul sitting inside the heart so where is the soul sitting it is inside in the region of heart so Krishna explains in Bhagavad Gita 15th chapter Sarvasya chaham hidisanni vishto matta smritir gnanam apohanam cha vedesha sarvair ahameva vedyo vedanta kritveda vidyeva chaham so Krishna so nicely explains Sarvasya chaham hridi sanni vishto. Hridi. You can, can cast the word hridi. We tell them hridayam. 
So Hridi. So Lord is situated in the we are situated in the region of heart. Lord is situated in the region of heart. Lord explains that. So here as the Paramatma he explains that I am in the region of heart. Soul also there in the region of the heart. So the soul and super soul both are there. So super soul is the one which I am showing here. So for every living entity, every living entity, Lord is there residing as Paramatma in the heart. That is the second level of understanding. Then the highest level of understanding is understanding that Lord also have form, personal form. That form is so beautiful, so amazing. It is so attractive. The Lord stands so nicely. If you can see in the picture, that even the, all the animals, peacocks, cows, will get attracted to Lord. He is standing in Tribanga Shama Sundaram. So three fold bent form. So if you see, it's a three fold bent form. You can see here, Lord bent at the knee, Lord bent at the hip here, and Lord bent at the head. So the Shama Sundaram form is the Bhagavan form of the Lord having all the six opulences. So we'll discuss in depth in further slides, every, every topic of this in depth. So, and also I told, I'll give an example, you should easily understand this topic. So I'm going now, we discussed about Brahman, all pervading everywhere through his energies and opulences. As a Paramatma, second level of understanding, situated in the, all the hearts of all living entities. And also Lord has his personal form, the spiritual world, and he is having that Shama Sundara form, Shama Sundara form is so beautiful form of the Lord. Uh, Sundara means beautiful. Sham means dark, dark cloud. So nice, dark, freshly formed cloud. The Lord is so beautiful. Lord is so attractive. That form is the Lord is the topmost form of the Lord. So we'll go in further explaining in detail about this. Okay. So understanding the aspect of this, all the three things, I will take an example of understanding um, sun. So nice, Prabhupada explains in this Bhagavad Gita book. So nicely explains. We are taken from there only. So Lord explains our example using sun. So we just see sun, right? Every day we see sun. We all know sun, right? So sun, sun does provide sunshine, right? Sunshine is pervading everywhere, all over the place. Sunshine is there. So sun, through his energy called sunshine, he is pervading all over the universe. Correct? Is the sunshine is sun? No, right? Sunshine is energy of the sun, which through the sunshine, Lord is spreading everywhere. But, but just by seeing sunshine, we can tell that sun is there. You are just inside the home. Everything is locked. You didn't even go out, but you just got up and you just, you just saw your window. You can see that there will be there will be light on the window. You can easily say that by seeing the sunshine, sun is there. Correct? Similarly, sunshine to sunshine, how Lord is spreading everywhere. Brahman feature of the Lord means Lord is pervading everywhere through his energies. So like Lord has different kinds of energies through which Lord acts everywhere. So that's how the Lord acts through his, if you can understand like how sunshine spread everywhere. So Lord through his energies and all of us are his energies, which through he acts and he has, and you can see Lord's potencies and abilities everywhere in this whole universe. So that is called Brahman feature of the Lord, which easily connected by sunshine, but sunshine is not the ultimate understanding, right? There is some more understanding of it. We'll see in the next slide. The next level of understanding is Paramatma feature of the Lord. I was already explaining this, right? I told that Paramatma is as a Sarvasa Chaham, Hridhi Sandhi Vishto, Sarvasya, all is there residing in the region of the heart, as I explained, right? Is there in the heart. And what does the Lord do? Lord will always observe us. Lord is there in everyone's heart. And uh, we are discussing that, that everyone have different kinds of desires and based on that desire, they're going to have different kind of bodies. So who is doing, who is taking account of all these things is Paramatma. So we all know that I explained that Paramatma is there and also soul is there in the region of the heart. So there is a Katha Upanishad where it's so nicely explained about our whole body is compared to a tree. You see a tree and the tree is there. On the tree, there are two birds sitting on the tree. Okay. The first bird is soul. That is what we are. Body is the tree and soul is the first bird. The second bird is the, the bird, which is Paramatma, who is sitting in there in the heart. So Paramatma will be just watching our desires. Like how we go and eat the fruits, which are so sweet, which are so sour, which are so bitter. We keep on eating the fruits. Like that is kind of a happiness, distress in our life. So we keep on doing that. But we never understand that there is Paramatma inside our heart. Correct? But, but that's so nicely explained, right? But that's the understanding of like Paramatma sitting in the heart along with us. And the bird 
as a as a one bird soul we keep on doing the activity of eating different kinds of fruits which are like bitter which are like sweet which, like happiness distress doing this activity that activity but we never turn towards the lord but lord is always eager to when when this person will try turn towards me so because our eternal nature is part and parcel of the lord so we will be happy when we are with the lord so lord will be eagerly waiting when 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 is the when is the time that he will turn towards me and when will that desire happen to me that he wants to come to me he wants to serve me so nicely so he'll be waiting for all of us so even we can understand this paramatma so nicely like for example if you want to do an activity or if you want to do something like for example consider you want to you don't have any bad habits some person gave you a cigarette and tell you to smoke initially we feel very guilty paramatma is saying that is wrong we should not do it it's a wrong activity so uh, we'll feel that there is some inner voice which is telling us correct no but keep on ignoring it and we do it do it do it paramatma is still saying but we'll not listen to it we'll just go ahead so like that just example to understand the paramatma is there in that understanding of desires understanding what we need and eagerly waiting for us and he is bhavagraphy he understand us so nicely so let's go into the next one there is one more this nice story about brahman how uh, like paramatma understands us so nicely and uh, he reciprocates with us so nicely so the reciprocation we can easily see in this i'll tell this a nice past time where this brahman is very poor so he doesn't have anything with him but he has a desire that he wants to serve the lord with nice kind of food stuffs prepare and offer a nice bhoga towards to lord so he don't have any money to purchase all these things what he thought is let me offer a nice bhoga to lord a nice kind of a sweet rice so you all know sweet rice sweet rice means having nice uh, rice with uh, milk condensed milk and sugar and nicely mix it and offer the nice bhoga to lord so he started preparing having uh, in mind only he started thinking let me have so nice bhoga to lord let me have this uh, kind of milk uh, and i'll put the milk on and then stir it so nicely i'll get some dry fruits i'll just uh, uh, make them uh, fry nicely in the ghee and then put it on that in the milk and as milk and keep it ready and then i mix the rice into it so he was just uh, doing all this activity he prepared so nice so delicious feast in the mind only he started preparing all these things so then after preparation you want to offer the bhoga to lord preparation is done you took that in a bowl in mind only and you want to offer it to lord but he just kept for offering but he was afraid are i am offering this to lord what will happen if it is so hot my lord tongue will get burnt this he felt that so immediately what he did he touched the in mind only <laughs> he is doing all this in mind only he went and touched that uh, sweet rice party prepared his finger got burnt immediately it it taken back are my finger uh, got but he saw the finger is really burnt <laughs> he was thinking everything in the mind but he saw the finger is really burnt and he, op- he came out of his uh, uh, what he was offering boga there and saw nothing was there but he could the fingers but he is uh, doing like this so the lord is laughing there so like that lord reciprocates if you have a desire to serve the lord 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 is bhavagraphy he understands our desires he understands our what we need and he is very eager for all of us he don't want all of us to just just uh, do whatever we want and he is very eager that when we turn towards him and we want lord i want you lord so so like that the super soul sits in the heart and understands our desires so he is there in the heart that is like lord present as a paramatma in everyone's heart that is the second level of understanding what is the top most level of understanding understanding is understanding that so bhagwan which of the lord is top most before just going i just want to connect this to the sun example like i told brahman feature is like sunshine pervading everywhere similarly paramatma feature is compared to sun disk right we know sunshine everywhere spreading and from where sunshine is coming the sun disk so sun we can see the sun disk right sun round shape so that is sun disk what we are all seeing the sun disk is there we can see right that is a compared to paramatma picture of the lord but still if you see sunshine if you see sun disk is that all no right there is something more to know because lord has explained in bhagavad gita also that sun there is sun god who is person like the person name is vivaswan we also discuss, we also learned in earlier session his name is vivaswan that is the top most understanding correct no personal understanding of the lord similarly what we are seeing understanding brahman feature of the lord and then paramatma feature of the lord and there is a top most feature of the lord is bhagavan feature of the lord understanding right so bhagavan feature of the lord is the top most feature of the lord so what is this bhagavan feature of the lord i was explaining that the shama sundara form of the lord and uh, what is meant by this bhagavan you see in bhagavad gita there is always quoting saying 
ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉವಾಚ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಉವಾಚ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉವಾಚ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉವಾಚ ಸೊ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉವಾಚ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಉವಾಚ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಭಗ ಭಗ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸರ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆಪೊನೆನ್ಸಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆಪೊನೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಬಿಲ್ಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಈ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಹಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಕೆನ್ ಹಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಐನ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಫೇಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಹಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಫೇಮ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೇಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ಗೆಟನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಆಲ್ ಫೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಥೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಮೆನಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೋ ನಾಲೆಜಬಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎನಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ ಐನ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಈ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಐ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ನೋ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಫೇಮ್ ರೆನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಭಗ ಆಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಫುಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಹೂ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಂಡೋಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಆಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಹೂ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ರಿಲೇಟ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ಅವರ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಲಾಸ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿವೈವ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಅಂಡ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ getting right now we'll go in exa- understanding these examples like how lord is having opulences in full and he is bhagavan right we will see uh, because we will see like one one topic understanding one one example so that we, we can easily understand the topic so i can say the lord is so beautiful so krishna the name itself is all attractive krish means who attracts who attracts everyone is very attractive so you can see like Uh, the beauty of krishna is so nice when krishna enters there is a description in shrimad bhagavatam where krishna just enters after so many days to mathura or dwaraka people people were climbing on the top to see his beauty it was so beautiful even the animals get attracted to his beauty so it was so, it was so beautiful so uh, we can understand from the scriptures and uh, by now also we will see that when you see any krishna picture people children really get attracted whenever we go for any book distribution my personal experience uh we show bhagavad gita many people may not come we'll we'
so and uh, understand this topic of renunciation so nicely so krishna we all know that is bhagwan right and we all know krishna arjuna fought in the battlefield of kurukshetra and uh, arjuna emerged emerged victorious in the battlefield so what is the position of krishna there what is the position of krishna in the battlefield of kurukshetra you don't want to reply in the chat so just uh, want to know <laughs> you want to pay your attention here It's very interesting topic i'll just open the chat let's see who all type their answer chariot driver yes thank you so much sangeeta mata ji bhavana mata ji sarathi ratasaradi yes surendra prabhu ravi pati prabhu srija mata ji thank you so much thank you for all your answers yes i i am happy that you are paying attention yeah this is very interesting you can hear how lord is full in renunciation also renunciation means something giving up so how lord is so nice see lord is supreme personality of godhead he is bhagwan he is accepted the driver of chariot driver of arjuna such a such a role understand that role then you will understand the depth of that role then you will really appreciate how lord is like that so lord is so love his devotees he ready to take any position for his devotees in the battlefield of kurukshetra when arjuna was fighting lord was riding the chariot there will be lot of sound lot of noise all around the battlefield right there will be lot of horses elephants there will be lot of shoutings so if arjuna wants to tell krishna take left how we should tell him can i tell krishna take left with voice he has to kick krishna on the left ear with his leg tell krishna to go left or kick krishna on the right side to go right no time right it's very quick we have to do it so uh krishna is such a great personality he is ready to accept that position for his devotee arjuna and uh, and also krishna guided arjuna throughout the battlefield and he gave all the credit to arjuna understand right the depth of that so krishna ready to accept that position and uh, krishna could lead arjuna in the battlefield so and also krishna would have want to get the fame he would have taken a sudarshan chakra and sent it whole battle would have been <laughs> done he would have killed but he wants to give credit to his devotees that is arjuna so arjuna became famous that he is emerged victorious pandavas became victorious and also that's the position of lord just compare this with our material world like we are all working in many companies right we are working in, we are we're going to schools or we going to colleges we all know our seniors or elders so example take i'm working in a software company right currently so my my company ceo come to our office once so can a ceo take me a drive in his car i'll sit back and he will drive the car <laughs> never happens right it will never happen they will never take that position also they will never want to do it so but lord is so compassionate he is ready to accept that position for devotee so similar way understand one more example that lord when came to uh, mathura he killed kamsa and uh, he would have become the king because he has all the rights he could have become the king there but lord didn't do it right what lord did he he made his grandfather king there correct ugrasena he made him the king so like that we can easily understand how lord want lord can enjoy but he will offer always his devotees and he always be topmost in his head so he doesn't want the credit he'll give all the credit to his devotees so like that lord would have got it the credit but he want to give credit to others and he ready to accept any position like that's great he is going to he, he, he does it for his devotees and strength so very interesting topic strength so i'll go bit uh pace now so strength we all see that how lord krishna is so powerful right when he was small baby he killed so many demons right like putana trunavarta they are huge demons he killed without any weapons and uh, interesting past time showing in the picture over here you can easily see krishna lifted govardhan on which uh, hand left hand <laughs> and that too last finger this uh, little finger at the <laughs> and at the, at the tip at the tip he lifted the whole govardhan which is around 26 now it's 26 kilometers but it's huge huge mountain which lifted just effortlessly not that uh, <laughs> struggling lifting it very effortlessly he picked the mountain lifted it not for one moment or one second for seven days and seven nights and without any effort consider children going plucking a what is it mushroom similar to that <laughs> krishna effortlessly picked it and hold it can anyone do it in the history no one right so that's the position of krishna his strength is too much too is too strengthy and protected all the devotees under govardhan so nice past time it is right we all know about it i'll i'll go cut short now i'll go ahead a knowledge we all now attending the bhagavad gita simplified course just spoken by krishna 5000 years back 
and still we are reading it understanding that and we are going to uh, understand the knowledge what krishna has given to arjuna we are taking lot of time correct krishna has enormous knowledge explaining about in integral aspects of different kinds of yogas karma yoga gnana yoga astanga yoga bhakti yoga what every living entity has to do in this material world what he has to eat what he should not eat what he should do what he should not do and who is living entity what is the relationship with the lord how is this creation happened everything in depth everything was explained to arjuna in bhagavad gita what we are reading enormous high, highly qualified knowledge that's why it was given commentary by many many senior acharyas ramanuj acharya madhva acharya many have commented on it and coming to lord's wealth is opulence ultimate so uh, opulent is lord consider example when lord was in dwaraka there are total 16108 palaces consider not one palace two palaces so 16108 palaces all the palace made up of gold and the ivory inside that and all everywhere it was so nicely decorated lot of ornaments and uh, so nicely it was so opulent it is because always lord mother lakshmi is at the feet of lord serving the lord so that's why lord is having all wealth all fortune so like this summarizing all six opulences are in full you can say in full with krishna so that's why is bhagavan who is there shama sundar form the spiritual world that is the topmost form so i'll just summarize ex- understanding from sun analogy like sun all pervading everywhere lord is all, all pervading everywhere everywhere through his effulgence all pervading everywhere that is because of his energies acting through like uh, energies i said different kinds of energies like material energy uh, all the energies what lord is acting through is acting through that energy of brahman and uh, second is the uh, understanding of paramatma residing in everyone's heart is there in everyone's heart like how sun disk is there so like the lord is residing everywhere uh, in the heart of all living entities third we understood about how surya bhagavan vivaswan the personal form is there similarly lord has his own personal form the personal form of the lord is shama sundara form of the lord in the spiritual world where we have to maintain a direct relationship with the lord to go there yes so and that form is bhagavan form he is full of opulences bhagavan is full of opulences one means possessing the opulence that is bhagavan so he is supreme person of godhead krishna okay uh, my humble request to all of you like can you answer the poll prabhu ji can you poll the second thing all eight five now akshay prabhu can you all hear me yeah thank you okay prabhu so i my humble request to all of you this concept is very uh, what we discussed with an analogy i hope all of you understood it if you are able to understand can you please answer for this poll i would like to see your responses so that i'll get to know that you all understood the topic what we discussed today it's very important topic also understanding about the god and this uh, yeah few are saying no i'm not sure but yeah others like 97% that six yeah good good so okay so maybe one or two are may, may not sure but definitely you will get this concept we have further more understanding of this in next sessions also but uh, i hope most most of you got this answer so thank you so much for your uh, answers i like to in the course of time i will just like to proceed now so now yeah thank you so much for your poll we have understood the uh, lord now maybe i am not able to see the lord then how to understand that lord is there and doing all these things so lord explains this in bhagavad gita 7th chapter 7th verse very nicely explains you can repeat after me matha parataram nanyat kinchit kinchit asti asti ananjaya ananjaya mai mai sarvam 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 ोत thank you so much for reciting so this translation is so nice like he is lord is explaining so nicely that there is no truth superior to me 
everything rests upon me as a pearls strung on a thread now you see there is a picture there there is a nice pearl necklace we all see pearls so nicely it was arranged but if you see all the pearls are held by thread which is there inside we connecting all if the thread is removed all the pearls will spread here and there similarly lord is saying sutre manigana iva like uh, lord is saying he is the person who from who everything rests on him he is the sutra he is the person like now i we discussed right lord enters into all super soul is providing a lot and uh, because of him everything is sustaining right now because of lord everything is sustaining so lord is the the thread compared to the thread is connecting everything so nicely so that is not seen you are seeing only the pulse but you are not seeing the thread which is connecting all like that lord is lord explains that that's how i am that's why uh, the unseen is thrown by the seen what are we are seeing we are seeing through this and you can easily perceive it understand it because of lord it is existing and there is no true superior to him everything rests on him so that's the understanding of this so the course of time yeah so now why lord advents so many many people you all know that this famous verse i hope all of you know you can repeat after me paritranaya sadhu naam you can unmute for it let them repeat paritranaya sadhu naam vinasaya chatuskrutam vinasaya chatuskrutam dharma samstapan hartaya धर्म संस्थापनाथायामी युगे युगे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर रिसेटिंग यू ऑल नो दिस फेमस वर्स आई गिव द अंडरस्टैंडिंग लाइक व्हाई द लॉर्ड एडवांस नाउ सो वी अंडरस्टूड दैट अबाउट द लॉर्ड एंड वी नो व्हाई द लॉर्ड हैज कम टू दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट लॉर्ड कम्स टू मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड टू ऑलवेज टेल अस दैट योर प्लेस इज नॉट हियर योर प्लेस इज देयर इन स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड एंड आई लॉर्ड कम्स टू प्रोटेक्ट अस ऑल द डिवोट इज He protects the devotees. Purpose of Lord is, he'll come here. He does the past times, like this, protecting devotees, annihilating the demons. Paritranaaya sadhu nam, protecting the sadhus. Vinasaaya cha duskrutam. Duskrutam means who are evil forces, who are like uh, demons. He will vinasaaya. He will he will kill them. Dharma samsta panartaaya. Whenever there is a uh, decline in the religion, he'll come and reestablish the dharma. Sambhavami yuge yuge. He comes again and again, again and again. Uh, Narsima. Uh, he comes again protect prahlad he came uh, varaha came for protecting the mother earth so like the lord comes he comes and protects lord krishna came he killed so many demons in the battlefield of kurukshetra and many demons he killed so that's the main motive of the lord so lord comes to protect to annihilate the demons to sure. remove the asuric mentality to reinstate the dharma and appear he comes again and again and the, to make the course correction okay and how the lord advents lord advents in different ways Like we are, I just told, Lord comes in the form of Varaha, like avatars. He comes in the avatars. Avatara means who descends from higher plane to lower plane. So because for all of us, we came to lower plane because of falling down. Lord will come from spiritual world to material world to attract us and tell that, hey, you are soul. You have come to this material world, but it is not your right place. You have stuck in the birth and death life cycle. So you have to come out of the cycle and you have to come back to my place, where is that is your eternal home, where there is no birth, there is no old age. there is no disease there is no death so lord comes in the form of different avataras to attract us like lord came in the form of rama lord came in the form of narsimha lord came in the form of varaha uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu so lord also will come in the form of different kind of avataras like kalki going to come in future so like comes lord attracts us and he will guide us to take us back home back to godhead like that and lord also comes in the form of acharyas like he comes in the form of acharyas he are like there are four param, four bona fide paramparas like there is uh, you can see in the picture brahma madha gode parampara that brahma is there and madhvacharya and there is sri vaishnava parampara uh, where mother lakshmi mata ji is there and mother uh, lakshmi mata in this parampara ramanuja acharya is acharya and uh, in the kuma in the rudra parampara lord shiva is there and vishnu swami is the acharya and four kumaras so four chatush kumaras the sons of brahma so there which is limbarka acharya is the acharya so you can see how lord krishna from this all four bona fide paramparas acharyas who has come and to establish that knowledge like we all know that how uh, propat come and iskan is brahma madha gaudiya vaishnava parampara we all know how it's bona fide uh, parampara and very authentic so propat comes in that parampara and what we are discussing about bhagavad gita what propat has written so nicely so 
so it comes the parampara of brahma madhya gaudiya vaishnava parampara here it is so lord comes in these different forms and different bona fide paramparas to give the real knowledge right knowledge to all of us next lord comes in the form of scriptures so <clears throat> like we understood that we have seen now bhagavad gita uh, shrimad bhagavatam we discussed brahma samhita there are much more literature of the lord uh, like uh, you mentioned here pranav mantra om vedas vedanta sutras brahma sutras puranas itihasas lot advance in different forms to always attract us and uh, tell us that it is not the right place you have to come to me that is the spiritual world so we'll discuss more spiritual world in the next sessions but understanding that advances for that purpose in different different ways avataras acharyas and scriptures so what is our role here sorry what is our role here by understanding all these things right so now we understood that uh, lord is the one who has done all these things for me correct we are here but lord is maintaining controlling everything and lord has given this body for us so based on our desire understanding these things what i should do now what is my dharma i should do now i should simply lead my life thinking that i am this body and everything end, end at the time of death no lord is clearly saying in his scriptures acharyas everyone clearly saying that you are stuck in the cycle of birth and death right keep on going in different different forms our dharma is to understand what is the message of lord and align with the plan of the lord and should make the course correction in our life according to the plan of lord so and then what we should do should practice as per the lord's explanation in bhagavad gita in our life like practical application of lord whatever he told if we follow in our life so definitely we will be successful so lord explains in many places in bhagavad gita about the importance of practicing spirituality i'll discuss that before going to that point i want to give a small analogy about the fish so please play play focus here this example will really help you to understand exactly what i'm going to understand the concept of our role so we are like a fish in a water so if you take the fish out of the water okay and give the fish all the nice food stuffs give the fish all luxuries all comforts everything newspaper magazines tv movies sports everything to it will the fish will be happy no right fish will never be happy if you take out of the water if you provide all the luxuries fish will be happy only when it is put back into the water similarly as a soul we are part and parcel of the lord we all will be happy when we are together with the lord loving and serving the lord if you are taken out of it we will struggle we feel we will struggle a lot so you may have observed this when you go to a temple or when you go to a uh, nice uh, temple worships where abhishekam is happening or we have seen nice videos of our temple we feel that solace we feel that peace because we are in connection with the lord at that point of time hearing about the lord chanting about the lord's names so seeing lord through our eyes taking darshan paying obeisance to lord we feel connected to lord understand you know because our eternal nature of the our soul is part and parcel of the lord we are fish we should be in water we are soul we should be with the super soul we should be always with in connection with the lord so that is how krishna explains in bhagavad gita also that understand this align with the plan of the lord especially he's telling about satatam he's telling about the chanting the names of lord is very important this point i'll just connect it to the first point today we discussed that parrot in a cage so we understood that parrot is dying without food similarly soul is dying without food what is the food for soul food for soul is chanting hari krishna maha mantra so many scriptures explained about this mantra uh, and uh, we are all practicing from so many years myself sankarshan tai prabhu akshay prabhu we all experienced it and krishna explains in bhagavad gita also so chanting the names of lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare by chanting the names of lord so we will give the food for our soul and by practicing this under the instructions of lord as per bhagavad gita we will surely go back home back to god it so that's how we should have what is our role we should practice spirituality chant hare krishna maha mantra and our aim is going back to spiritual world that is our our uh, our role and uh, we should nurture that our relationship with the lord so consciously slowly step by step step by step we all will help you we all can go together understanding and we can slowly progress in our spirituality okay and uh, there is a verse here which tells about approaching the lord in different ways so chaturvida like people go to lord in different different ways like uh, uh, like people going because of uh, kind of problems or suffering uh, and uh, people go for wealth people go for gaining knowledge understanding the lord so there are different people who start 
and going to lord in different different stages but going to lord means that is the beginning of their so going to lord means they started beginning their devotional service slowly slowly so those are the people who are like pious people who does an activity and go to the lord and uh, we all we all here attending this course or i'm really appreciating all of you who have taken your time and attending these sessions so definitely we, we will slowly uh, understand the concepts and we practice this spirituality and we start our devotional service and we progress so as lord explained in bhagavad gita 7th chapter okay in course of time uh, i'll just go to the next slide but we all understood the role the role is to understand that we are fish out of water we should be in water that we have to do by practicing spirituality as lord explained in bhagavad gita by chanting hari krishna mantra now we should have our goal that manushya dharma what is dharma should understand the lord and go back to god it is our goal so approach can you please poll 3 can put over there let uh, yeah so uh, i i request all of you please uh, answer this poll so that i'll understand that you uh, you are able to understand our role what is our role here uh, humble request to all of you please you can see the poll please answer the poll i want to see the results okay thank you so much for your poll so i'll just uh, try to have on uh, yeah thank you so much i hope all of you understood it so nice so this is the analogy the last analogy last topic i'll just conclude in very short time and then we'll take q and a i will discuss about it so lord krishna is the root and the trunk and acharyas we discussed about acharyas and scriptures are the branches and jeevatmas are the leaves so if you see all the jeevatmas are the leaves so Uh, if we will be happy when we connected to the tree as a leaf so we get nourishment from there if you connect if you drop out of it leaf will get dried and it is gone so we should always get in connect to lord as fish in water we should always be in connect with the lord and we should be very intelligent in it we should not ask lord small small things as we discussed lord give me well lord give me this lord give me that we should be very intelligent lord i want you <laughs> because if i get the lord i'll get everything <laughs> arjuna is like that you see the past time in uh, mahabharat i'll quickly summarize it maybe i'll take one minute and then we'll start our question answers okay so very interesting past time i'll just cut short so we know that lord uh, in the dwaraka uh, is a setting and uh, for fighting in the kurukshetra battle uh, duryodhana and uh, arjuna both went to lord duryodhana first went but he don't want to sit at the lord's feet lotus feet he will sit at the head arjuna came next but he sat at the lotus feet so whenever we get up first we'll see the person is sitting at the lotus feet so arjuna krishna asked arjuna so arjuna i see arjuna first but duryodhana told no no i came first so uh, but he is younger than you let him ask already krishna told that he will fight but he will never lift a weapon <laughs> so uh, so krishna never lift a weapon actually um, he told i'll not lift a weapon then uh, although knowing that krishna asked arjuna first because he doesn't ask duryodhana will definitely ask i want your narayana sena i don't want you <laughs> to show that arjuna is great krishna asked arjuna arjuna you tell me who you want without a single second gap he told krishna i want you that's all arjuna is so intelligent we all should be like arjuna what duryodhana did <laughs> duryodhana told abba somehow <laughs> uh, krishna went off what i'll do with him he doesn't have any weapon he will not fight what i'll do with him so i want his narayana sena which he has which is so powerful so duryodhana uh, was very happy and in, in, internally happy but outside he told that krishna i missed you but uh, anyhow i'll happy with your narayana sena you send with me i'll take them <laughs> like that so uh duryodhana has in material calculations like this much of wealth this many people okay i'll be able to win but arjuna knows yatra yogeshwara krishna wherever krishna is there there is victory so we should be like arjuna we should be like uh, having always in connection with the lord with that i like to conclude by saying the thank to all for your patience and uh, we'll continue this session tomorrow by having two topics about search for happiness and karma good or bad so what what we put it will come back to us so interesting topic i'll uh, uh, request all of you to attend tomorrow also and i'll try to stop here as exceeded time for 5 minutes so i try to stop here and take q and a for 10 minutes or we what are q and a we'll answer it myself sankarshan sai prabhu both are there so we can answer your q and a thank you so much thank you very amazing very wonderful class prabhuji i unmuted the devotee line so devotee can ask directly to you you can stop sharing those hare krishna yeah. hare krishna 
I think a lot of questions are going on. Our Sankarshan type who is answering so nicely, I feel. <laughs> okay, you can, you can unmute and answer me. Roji will be answering there. No problem. That will be going on. We'll definitely answer all your questions. So you can ask here also. You can unmute and ask if you have any questions. Prabhu I am Ramachandra. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, yes, Prabhu. Please go ahead. Yes. Uh, uh, what is the difference between Jivatma and Par Paramatma? Yes, Prabhu. Very good question. So I'll explain you mm -hmm. very nicely. Uh, very, very simple okay. terms, Prabhu. Uh, uh -huh. Very wonderful question you asked. Okay. So, uh, Jivatma and Paramatma are like example of Paramatma is like ocean. Right? Ocean. Okay. Okay. Jivatma is like okay. a drop in a ocean. Oh. If you consider ocean is huge, very huge in, in quantity, but drop mm -hmm. of water is very small in quantity. Correct? Yes. But quality wise, a drop of water in the ocean and whole ocean quality wise, same salty, both are same. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like that. Jivatma is very minute in capacity, but Paramatma mm -hmm. is huge. So we are okay. like Anu, Lord is like Vibhu. And uh, he's pervading in all the places. He's pervading. He's yeah. pervading in all the places. Yes. Yeah, that is the understanding of like pervading of the Lord, Paramatma, and also Bhagavan feature of the Lord. And uh -huh. I have just understanding of it is like Jivatma is uh Jivatma comes from the Lord, having the qualities uh -huh. of the Lord. So sun and sun ray, like sun and sun ray are there. Sun is there. If sun is there, sun ray is there. We are also there. Sun is Lord, sun ray is we are. So Paramatma is sun right. and we are sun ray. Same quality, but right. quantity wise, Lord is so huge. We are very minute. Same quality only, oh. soul also. Right. Soul is Satchitananda, Lord is also Satchitananda. Mm -hmm. Same, right. same everything right. only, but we stuck in it. We have to go back to spiritual. Right. Okay, yeah, Prabhuji. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, nice class Prabhuji. Prabhuji, I had uh, one question. That uh, we uh, we do uh, one is Murti Puja hmm. and Archivigra Puja, hmm. and but you can see a lot of people doing Murti Puja, and they call means that is also they call God. Uh, Archivigra Seva is also there, which is also the God. But Murti Puja they do it on the roadside, you know, Ganesh Chaturthi, Durga Puja, everything. So how to understand that who is the real God and whether these gods we can follow or we should follow only properly uh, what written in the scriptures because I uh, there is always a you know dilemma. Yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, so uh, for how to understand in little if you can give clarity. Yes. Uh, Rabi Pati Prabhu. Uh, Rabi Pati. Yeah. Very wonderful question Prabhu you asked. As we uh, maybe the, the today the topic and what we ask question is very good question relevant question. Like I can say that in the Bhagavad Gita only, Lord also explained about different kinds of worship, like uh, different kind of worship. I told about Ganesha worship or other worship. So there is a very depth of understanding of that worship. Lord explains it. We definitely take that in our next courses. But as a surface level, I'll tell you to understand. So Lord explains that there is this whole material universe what Lord created. He does to different kinds of departments. Like on now in the universe, in, the, in our government, there is health, there is ministry department, there is this department, that department. So, but all these departments are there. But who is the head of all these departments? Prime Minister, correct? If all the chief ministers are there and uh, Prime Minister is there, I'll give you a garland. You'll go and put the garland to whom first? Prime Minister. So you'll know it, right? If you put the chief minister, yeah. you may feel, hey, I am chief minister. He's prime minister over there. You have to put first to him only. I may feel like a little bit you have to give to him. Understanding, no? I'm just giving an example so that you'll easily connect to it. The Lord is maintaining everything through different kinds of demigods, this whole universe. Understanding, no, Prabhuji? So, but Lord is the origin of all who is doing all these things. He's, he's, he's a knower of all. So, if you want to worship someone, for example, if you want to water a plant, you're going to water it to the root or you're going to water it everywhere, leaf, branch, and everywhere. Root, root, root. Similarly, if you yeah, worship the Lord, you are going to worship everyone. It is if you worship the Supreme Lord Krishna, you are worshiping to all. Yeah, Prabhuji. Okay, Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Any other questions? Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna.
Guru ji, does uh, God really answer our prayers? Yes, yes. Really, God answers our prayers. We discussed today one story, right? That Brahman who is offering the sweet rice. So you can see there, he's thinking in his mind, but his hand was burnt. He's understanding him and he's, he's attentive to his prayers. Yes, Guru ji. Yeah. So Lord will answer our prayers. We always should pray the Lord. Lord blessings will come down to us. You should pray to Lord every day. Okay, Prabhu ji. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guruji, I have a technical question on yesterday's uh, session. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yeah, one by one, Mataji. First, Mataji will answer. We'll, we'll ask the question. Next, we can go. Um, yeah. how, uh, when the body passes away mm. and the soul gets into another body, mm. is there a time within which it goes? Yeah, Mataji. There is a uh, order uh, understood what I heard till now. Uh, you asked a very good question. Like here, when the soul passes out of this body, we do that, uh, the 11 days ceremony, right? Mm. So that soul will be there. So what are we do as a part of that ceremony? We offer uh, Pinda Pradhan, we offer that uh, to that soul to get the energy to travel across to the further destination. So till that point of time, the soul will be there here to go into the next body. Uh, that uh, So can I say that the soul, for the soul to get the next body, it is predestined is it predestined? Ah, so that we'll cover in the next topic, the destiny and our free will. So the destiny of our next destiny decided by us only that we'll cover in the karma topic. So where we are going to the next body, it was destined based on our activities in this life. Now, how we are destined, for example, we, we took birth of our mother and father who decided it, Lord decided it based on no. our desires in the previous life. Similarly, what are activities we do? Like for example, I, I would like tend to sleep a lot. I'll become, let God tell me, you take the body of polar bear and you'll be there. That means based on my activity in this life, I like to sleep a lot, sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, maybe you like sleep a lot. Better you sleep like a polar bear for six months. Aram so you can sleep it. Like that, that is destined based on our activities. That is destined, but our activity will decide the destination. And in the womb, yeah. Uh, does does the soul come immediately or there also it takes time? I heard from another devotee, Mataji. I'll clarify it in next class also. But I heard that uh, uh, there is some uh, period of one to two weeks where after the uh, egg gas form, the soul enters into it. But I'll clarify it in tomorrow's class. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Uh, uh, in Lord eyes, uh, one is uh, Surya and one is uh, Chandra. Mm. But uh, in this class, you have explained uh, Lord uh, 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 means he, he spread the light to uh, all of you. But uh, how can we understand in Prabhuji this one? Yeah, there are two things here. Like uh, uh, the whatever you told, that point is like Lord through his eyes, like Lord says that sun and moon are his eyes. Like we heard that and Lord through this, you'll see the whole universe, right? So that is like Lord through his energies. Those are Lord's energies only, right? Sun and more Lord's energies. That is Brahman, like he spread the universal form. So the universal form Lord explains in Bhagavad Gita 11th chapter, where Lord, that is the lower understanding of the Lord. See now, understanding of Surya Bhagavan directly, understanding of Lord's feature as sun and moon through which he will see the whole universe, which uh, Lord is seeing, that is understanding of Brahman feature of the Lord, universal form of the Lord. Getting now, Mataji? Hare Krishna? Hare Krishna? Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. There is some disturbance. Not sure. Like, yeah, you can go ahead. This probably some background noise. Yeah, yeah. You already crossed two minutes, but yeah, if you have further questions, yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Prabhu, uh, there is a word called uh, uh, even if a speck of dust has to move by the wish of law, right? Vijay, you could not hear. Yeah, we could not hear. Can you Can you Some disturbance. I don't know. 
Prabhu now, yeah. can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, even if a speck of dust has to move by the Lord's wish, so we are doing our karma. Is it determined by our the Lord? Whether we are doing, whether yeah. our intelligence is working. So yes. this is a confusion. Please yeah. clarify my word. Very, very good question you had, Prabhu. Uh, we know that Lord knows everything. Lord knows uh, about us. Lord knows everything. But Lord, without the Lord's will, we know that speck of dust. Or Lord, we can also say that the ant also doesn't move without the Lord's thing. Lord knows everything, every one of all of us. But although Lord knows it, Lord is so lovable that He'll give that free will. That we we'll all have that free will. We can that uh, Lord is love that He'll give that free will where you can choose your actions. That will make your destiny. So. He will give that small individual free will where you have to choose your actions, which will make your destiny. Destiny is already there. Based on your actions, you will reach it. Lord knows about it. So we have to choose very carefully. And also, this I'll give you the surface level answer. But in detail, the next session, karma, which will tell you more in detail that uh, how our destinies are there, how our free will is there, and what will happen next. Okay, Prabhuji. Now, as of now, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, I have one question. Like yes. I, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, like I do, I chant Maha Mantra, I read Gita, everything is done. But the problem is that my uh, house means my uh, family is totally against it. Hmm. So how is it that I can improve my karma right now? Because we are from a family who is totally, we are Bengali family, we are totally non-vegetarian. But I want to quit non-veg because I can understand it's adding my karmic means it's increasing my karmic deficiency. So now my question is that what can I do in this case when everybody is against it and if I practice anything they are totally against it. Yeah, Mataji. Yeah, understood. Your good name, Mataji? Tanya, Tanya Datta. Yeah. Yeah. Very wonderful question you asked, Mataji. Even I came from the background of eating non veg only. So I can yes. say. So now I am uh, practicing it. Uh, like initial days of my practice also I faced the same problem. My parents forced me I should eat it. So yeah. uh, but I'm practicing that time. I want to, I don't want to eat it. So what they are forcing that you have to eat it. But as yeah. I said, I also, I thought if I tell them, no, they may feel bad. What I did is as per my senior's advice, what I did is, uh, I, I told that I have some gastric trouble. Like my health is not suiting. And, yeah. uh, a doctor told me that not to eat for some days at least. So initially yeah. I told them. So slowly, slowly I could not eat because I had the problem. And also it was becoming severe. I told them, I slowly, I told, I will not eat for some days. And I was practicing like that. So the time will come where uh, we intense, we are intensely praying. I know that we will intensely pray that Lord, I want to chant your names. I want to read Gita every day. I want to follow all these aspects of you. And I want to lead a happy and pure life. So we should intensely pray. So I prayed as per my sinners advice. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I told my parents. Like uh, I was studying that time. If I tell anything also, my parents will tell, no, no, you have to do it. You are still a student. <laughs> so... The time come, I complete my studies, I get my job. They're, they're happy that I'm satisfied, I'm settled. Then I can take my decisions on my own. They understood yeah. it. But I told, I don't want to have it now because I want to practice this. Please allow me. I just requested them. So they allowed it. And uh, after gradually time passed, now they are also practicing what I'm practicing. So they are hearing the sessions in other languages now. Yes, yes, sure. Okay. Should be having patience, Mataji. Please have patience. Don't sure. uh, struggle with them. So as of now, even one of our Bhakti Shah members also, they ask them questions. I tell them, like, you should not fight with them at the starting. Maybe you can have, like, uh, you tell them that I have some health problem. Like, I could not have it now. They still yeah. force you. Initially, slowly, slowly, gradually, gradually, you come down of it. Telling that uh, I'll slowly, I'll, uh, I'll slowly uh, try to have it or I let me health get settled. Then I can yeah. have it. Yes, yes. And intensely pray, Mataji. We also will yes. pray for you. You should intensely pray for yourself. That Lord. Thank you, help. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Any other questions? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. I'm audible. Yes, Mataji. You are audible. Prabhuji, Lord Rama is uh, 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 Krishna's avatar, right, Prabhuji? Yes, Mataji. You are right. Uh, then in uh, Mahamantra, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, mm. why is uh, Lord Rama's name added? Uh, and not any other avatara's uh, names are included in it. Yeah, Mataji. So this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, like you, what have we discussed today, uh, like we understand that Hare means energy of the Lord. 
Krishna means super person of Krishna. But there is one word Rama. Understanding that Rama, it can be different. Like oh, you told about Lord Rama is Lord Rama who came as incarnation. There is one more Rama, Balrama. <laughs> Correct, no? He is also Rama only. He is Balrama, and he is none other than Lord Krishna only. He is come as Lord Balrama, first expansion of the Lord. We will understand in depth, but I am just telling you the overview. Uh, Balrama is none other than Lord Krishna only. So he has come. So we address both Lords, Lord Krishna, Lord Rama, and energy of the Lord Hare. So we address both. So this Hare Krishna Mantra is six, this. Uh, what are these words are there? Just prescribed by our Acharyas in the scriptures, like Kalisanta Upanishad. It is told uh, Hare na uh, in um, uh, this. This Shorda Shaka Namam Kali Kalma Shana Shanam. This sixteen words just given will help us to destroy our Kali. What are what are impurities we have? And also this word is explained. Mantra is explained like this in many scriptures. So Acharyas proposed that we should chant this mantra. Like example, I'll tell you why. So Acharyas knows the importance of the holy names. So they would have given the names of other authors also. They have given only these names means that means there is importance. We have to follow them because they have so nicely explained the scriptures. They have given a lot of commentaries about it. Uh, like example, I'll tell you. If you go to a doctor having certain disease, doctor you went to a doctor and doctor told that you have to take these tablets. You have to take morning one, afternoon one, and evening one. Will you follow it or not? Will follow right? Will have faith in doctor and follow it. similarly we are we are like souls we we want to follow the lords through his servants who are acharyas who are representing the lord and their words so acharyas told you have to chant this mahamantra in this format so as of now we understand that this holy names are more potent so all the holy names are potent but acharyas told that this is prescribed for kali yuga so you have to chant this mantra which is a real medicine for all of us is it clear mata ji hari krishna Hare Krishna. Any other questions? Uh, we cast today ten minutes, but uh, it's good to interact with all of you. Having nice interaction with all of you, having a Q and A. Any other questions? Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji. Uh, Your voice is very low, Mataji. Can you speak a bit loud? Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji. Yeah, it's still a bit low, but I'll try my best. Vishnu incarnation of Krishna or Krishna incarnation of Vishnu, Prabhu ji. uh that is uh, i just explained in shrimad bhagavatam verse mata ji oh, first canto the third chapter 28th verse where uh, lord tells that all other incarnations are amsha of the lord the real bhagavan is krishna swayam bhagavan so vishnu is incarnation of krishna that is explained in all the scriptures also krishna is the supreme personality of godhead from him different expansion comes like, we'll discuss this more in detail in last session we'll just give the surface level the krishna from krishna balram comes and then bhan balram quarter plex expansion comes so like that uh, so many expansion comes from them comes in the material world comes vishnu mahavishnu from them garbhadaksha vishnu suradaksha vishnu comes so uh, to to your answer as of now krishna is a source anadir adir govinda from whom vishnu uh, vishnu has come mata ji as per the scriptures it's explained so clearly in shrimad bhagavatam hari krishna mata ji is it clear Hare Krishna. Very low, but yeah. I hope uh, Sankarshan Tapu, you are there. Sankarshan Tapu. Hare Krishna. Yeah, yes, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Prabhu ji, all chart questions answered, no Prabhu ji. Yesterday I could not check. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I, th- I think. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, most of them are done, Prabhu. Yeah, but uh, I think yeah, uh, the devotees can unmute and then they can still ask. I mean, it's already eight forty, so. And I like to, I'll, uh, and also if you feel that some questions has to be answered, Prabhuji, please uh, we'll keep a note of it. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah. discuss in uh, further sessions also, Prabhuji. Sure, Prabhuji, we will cover in further sessions also. We have got. Yeah. I like to uh, Akshay Prabhu. Is it fine, Prabhuji? Correct, Mr. Prabhuji. It's fine, no? We yes, will... You can uh, rest. You can uh, reply in chat. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. So, so thank you so much for attending today. Sorry, we crossed twelve minutes because of your enthusiastic questions. and uh, definitely we are there all of us to help you and uh, we all together will advance in our spiritual life so please attend tomorrow's session remainder for all of you and please have a note of all these points and we'll meet you tomorrow evening same time session 3 thank you so much for your enthusiastic participation thank you all hari krishna
హరే కృష్ణ ప్రభు హరే కృష్ణ ప్రభు ధన్యవాదాలు Thank you for your own class.